And today I wanna to share with you a little bit about that extra holiday clutter, how to pre-plan for dealing with some of the extra stuff that tends to pile up around the holidays, right? There's just more, more food, more decor, more people, more packaging, more gift wrap, all the things. So let's talk about several categories that can give you kind of a boost in the clutter um, control area quickly. We talked last week a little bit about the kitchen and simplifying your kitchen. And one of the things that ends up in your kitchen is always that extra special specific holiday stuff, whether it's dishes or hand towels or pot holders or red mugs or, you know, whatever it is um, that hides in the back of the cabinets the rest of the year, it's in your way. <laughs> so take a little bit of time to just think about, okay, how can I pull it out, get it ready and or let it go? Because something that produces a lot less clutter, another way of looking of reframing the decor in terms of the setting the table and, and creating a holiday environment is what if you used neutral plates and glassware and just changed out the color of your linens and your candles? and everything else stayed the same. It'd still be festive, maybe a special centerpiece, but not very specific snowman plates and mugs and then wreath mugs and things. Like, what if you just kind of limited it a little bit more than you have in the past? Would it help less pile up in the kitchen in between times? Just some things to think about. I'm not saying you have to do any of these, but it may not have occurred to you. And I'm all about simplifying. So if you don't have to keep track of more things in the cabinet, just a few extras instead of whole duplicate sets of things, it makes life a lot easier, okay? So think about that. Um, and other than that, there's let's just go through the others one at a time, right? So after that, I would think about all the packaging that's about to come in because that's the thing that doesn't change a whole lot and you don't have full control over. If you order things from Amazon or online, you're going to end up with extra boxes and packaging. And I know a lot of you are going to have that tendency to save those boxes because they'll come in handy someday or that'll be perfect for sending that other gift. Unless you know for sure what gift is going in that box already, Break down that box, put it in the recycle bin. There's no need to keep them. Seriously, there's going to be another one next week. Or you need to think through which ones you're actually going to use for which gifts ahead of time, a little bit ahead of time. Um, and you're not usually going to use up all the extra interior packaging either. It's okay. Just let it go. It's better to get it back into the recycle system than to hang on to it and have it in your way while you're trying to deal with all the extra stuff from the holidays. Um, so just be aware. Avoid as much plastic as you can during the holiday when you're buying things and keep uh real clear on which boxes are going to go with what and why you're keeping them, not just in case. And then the packaging leads to a little bit of the gift wrapping, right? Because most of the boxes are getting kept to keep that going, right? To send the other gifts that you want. Um, just make sure you have that thought out. And we're going to set up a gift wrap area, some sort of way that as you come home from the store, you can wrap immediately, then you don't have to hide the gifts from people. You can have all your gift wrap and tape and scissors and, and ribbon and such out for a little bit of time while you get all that stuff going. And then you put it away uh, much closer to the end of the holiday, but it's not necessarily in your way. And it might be a great year to think about using up all the extra bits and bobs and pieces of gift wrap that you've been saving or that are left over from that other thing. And it's time to get really creative. What if you could actually do things like use birthday paper for Jesus's gifts, his birthday gifts? Isn't that what Christmas is? Use birthday paper for Christmas wrap. Use um, all the small pieces create some sort of a, a patchwork quilt and that can be festive. What if you um, use up as much of the extra this holiday season and then 
from here forward, you think through your theme packaging that I've talked about before. It's kind of like a capsule wardrobe in that you pick a couple colors and have a few varieties of accessories that go on it. Um, so I happen to use mostly blue and silver and white. Um, it works for all the different holidays. Uh, I have in the past though, recycled floral paper that um, I used to buy myself flowers all the time and I would get the, the paper and reuse all the, the floral paper that came wrapped around the, the flowers. I have used just craft paper with different colored ribbon and a few stamps depending on the holiday. And there's a lot of ways that you can make it a little more fun and festive and take up less space and less bandwidth um, and really make things still nice, right? It doesn't have to be limited um, when you use your creativity. You can always make it cool and better. And every time you're in your gift wrap and you find a piece that you're never going to use because of whatever reason, um, go ahead and let it go. It's time to let the extra and excess of your gift wrap area go. All the extra boxes you've been saving if you don't know what goes in that box right now, you don't need to keep it on hand. It's just taking up space. Um, okay, so the last thing I want to talk about is, well, maybe it's not the last thing. There might be two more. Um, use the space you have as the limiter. If you only have so much space in a closet to hide gifts, that's the amount of gift space you have. And if you wrap them on the way in, it's you don't have to worry so much about hiding them. Um, and you know, it, it's the same thing with the, the limiting the space around the gift wrap, around the gifts themselves, around how much extra decor you're going to keep, how many decorations and, and trees and, and knickknacks, um, and stockings and things like that. How much are you going to use? If you designate the space and it has to fit in there, if you bring something new in, something has to go out for it to fit. So you get more of a rotation system going and it helps keep things from getting out of control. Um, when I was growing up, my mom used to do all her Christmas shopping early and she'd be so proud of herself and then she'd keep shopping. <laughs> and we'd end up with more and more and more. And we'd go back to the store and get a few more things because it was delightful and enchanting. And it became kind of a, a joke in our family that uh, you can't start too early because she'll just keep going. So um, think about where you may go a little bit nutty at, at the holidays and overdue. And this is a good year to start reeling that in. I don't know why. I say that every year. Every year is a good year to start reeling it in um, and having less stuff. Um, and designate how much space you're willing to give to decor. I have clients that have whole garages just for their holiday decor and whole shelving banks for each holiday. And that's what they've decided. Others like me have one and a half shelves in my actual clothes closet for my holiday decor. I'm, I'm talking like four feet of linear space is all of my holiday decor, including the lights that go outside. So just think about what, how much space you want to devote in your house, how much you want to take care of, how much time you want to spend unwrapping and rewrapping the stuff in between seasons and stuff like that. It's up to you. You get to decide. But not thinking it through and then wondering why it's overwhelming is not really cutting it anymore. It's time to gain control again. Give yourself some freedom back to enjoy. All right. Lots more insights on decluttering in general are coming up in the next Declutter Masterclass. The next one is on December 7th. So it's just in two weeks and I will see you next week. Don't forget to subscribe, follow, like, share all my stuff. And in the meantime, have a delightful day.